Hey, what's up guys? In this video, we are going to do a repair on one of the ship's service diesel generators. Generator number one, we need to replace the, the head on the number nine cylinder. So that's what this video is going to be about. And I try to keep it uh, pretty short, um, just showing a little bit of each step as we go along, just to give you a basic idea of the job so you can uh, watch it. So let's get on the energy room and uh, get started. All right, the ship has four generators, diesel generators. They're 2,160 kilowatts, 2,940 British horsepower. These are nine cylinder engines. There's two on the port and there's two on the starboard side. Today we got a little job. We're working on the one right here, me and my partner. This is uh, generator number one. It's all the way outboard on the port side of the ship. And the number nine cylinder, we're gonna have to remove the cylinder head and replace it with another one. A couple of the valves, there's exhaust and intake valves a couple of them are seized up and they're not working so we're trying to get all the loose parts it got destroyed somehow so we're trying to clean that up and then we're gonna have to remove the head and put a new one in I'm gonna show you the new one we already have it ready to go but we have to get everything done on the top and remove the old one first so it's right up here that's just a fuel pump all right, I got a chain fall rigged up here. And this is the new head right here, ready to go. And this is just a lifting tool. And you can see the valves right here. A couple of them are totally messed up on the old one. So we're gonna have to remove it. This is the one that's gonna go in place. So this is a head that's gonna come out right here. These are the two damaged valves. You can see clearly right there. These are the parts that came out. So we're going to remove the shroud here on the exhaust. That's got to be removed. And these four nuts have to be removed with hydraulic pressure. Then it'll be ready to come out. Guys, check this out. Here's the push rod. See how bent up it is? Thing got got totally destroyed. Here's the exhaust shroud. We saw. And we're gonna jack the head off with these jacks here, these hydraulic jacks, and the little guys right here. And we'll use a hydraulic pump and uh, lines to hand pump that up when we take it off. step guys we're removing this spool piece here where the exhaust temperature gauge is we're removing the bolts on here trying to remove that and then we'll get that piece out of there and then we'll remove the exhaust probe the temperature sensor probe all right guys so one thing that's got us a little baffled is the push rod that was up here is the one that got damaged but the valves on this side are the ones that are damaged we were figuring that this would be the one that but anyway, we got this uh, down to the last bolt. So we're gonna have a quick break. We're gonna go take our break and then we'll get the nuts off and everything. We're gonna still try to get this thing out today. All right guys, here's the rocker arm. That's gonna go back on. We could put it back on in the end. But the new head here has its all brand new rocker arm assembly. Everything's good. It's a complete set here. Guys, okay, so now we have the jacks on, the hydraulic jacks all set up. And we got the lines and we're gonna try to pump these, the nuts off and pull it out. So here's the hand pump that we use. The hydraulic pump and we pump it up to about 980 pounds 940 pounds and that should uh, be able to loosen the nuts okay so the head is off here the old one but we have to go clean up everything on top and get it ready to install the new one okay so here we are we gotta clean all this up 
We're looking directly down into the piston now. You can see the piston and the liner around the side of the piston. And that's the exhaust that goes out there. So we're gonna get this all cleaned up and get it ready to mount the new one. All right guys, we got it up in the air here. We got all our connections on. We got one more O-ring to put on right here. And we're ready to go. Okay, here it comes. Pull it, man, pull it! Guys, Hercules. So we're gonna pull it up. Bring it over and then we're dropping in. Okay, here we go, guys. There we go, we're gonna lower it down right here. All right guys, so we have it down in place. We got two of the jacks on. We'll start tightening them down soon. We're gonna rig it up to the pump. We took the rocker arms off because we have to put another push rod in, the one that's missing there. So we're gonna get these two tight and we'll do the other two and just uh, move on from there. So we're making progress here. Looking good so far. All right guys, part of the old push rod was stuck down in there. So I had to get a magnet. It was a real pain in the butt to get out. There it is. Okay, so here's the cam. For the push rods and for the fuel pump. Okay guys, the push rods are in. The next step will be to put the fuel injector right down in this hole. Secure it with this. And then the rocker arms. We'll go on the top. And we should be about finished. Then we'll give it a crank over manually and test it. All right guys, the rocker arms are on. Everything's torqued. The fuel line, everything's back on. Torque to 60. And we got all the cocks open. So we're going to turn it over and check it. Adjust the rocker arms and we'll be almost done. just got set using these nuts here and we use the feeler gauge right here they got lashed to 0.5 so we're gonna clean up the tools here put the lid back on which is sitting right over here and uh, all we have to do is put a temperature probe in back here we need a new temperature probe and then we're gonna be ready to go try it out for a test so everything's put back together and all torqued and ready to go. Guys, now we're gonna vent the water out. We got the cap open here so we can purge, purge it and get all the air out. Waiting for the water to come out now. The free lube pump is on now. Okay guys, we're gonna go ahead and blow it down.
guys ready to start it up gonna about do it for this one and everything's looking and sounding good down there hope you enjoyed the video I tried to keep it short uh, but show as much as possible so if you guys like the video let us know by giving us a thumbs up on it and if you haven't subscribed to the channel already please do so we'll be posting more content out here on the ships every time and again when we get back home I'll be posting plenty of content there of all the things that Matt and I do so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to go back here and get started on it right now. And as always, guys, if you have any suggestions, let me know. I'll try my best to include all of them in some upcoming videos. And um, anyway, thanks for watching the video, and we will see you on the next one, guys.